What is Elastic Cache? Amazon Elastic Cache is a web service which improves the performance of web applications by allowing the user to retrieve the information quickly instead of reply, relying on slower disk based databases. Some of the key features of Elastic Cache. First, it provides scalable in memory cache. So that is different from DynamoDB where the data is persist persisted for a significant matter of time, basically as long as you want it to be. Elastic Cache is different. It is designed for short term storage of information and the information is to be accessed very quickly. Second, it supports Memcache and Redis engine. So now the question arises, what is Redis? Redis is an open source NoSQL database, which means it does not support structured query language. It is a key value data store, unlike Postgres, which is a table based or Cassandra, which is another NoSQL database that is wide column data stru structure. It is also completely in memory, which means it is very fast. It is a data structure server. Some of the structures it provides are binary save strings, lists and sets. Now let's mo move to the use cases of Elastic Cache. First, it reduces load on databases. For example, if you have DynamoDB database and you want to reduce the latency on the database to speed up your application and to reduce the load, same you can do it, do it with Elastic Cache. Second, speed up application. When the load is less, the database can generate more speed. Domains of Amazon Web Services. The AWS provides a total of 110 services, but we will talk about some major services. First, compute. If you need scalability or an underlying surface where you want your application to run, then you require computation and virtualization. Second, migration. If you already have an application and you want to move it to cloud, that doesn't mean you have to create a new application on cloud. You can move your already created application to cloud. Third, security. Maintaining the security is very difficult. So for that, AW has, has a service called IAM, which allows you to select how much access to be given to the other group members. Storage. If you're uploading data on cloud, storage is most important, as you have to secure and store your data. Storage depends upon type of data, like static or real-time data. Databases. There is a difference between databases and storage. Databases store executable files. 6. Messaging. It is used for intercommunication services, communication with team or customers. Now let's talk about Amazon Elastic Cache for Redis demo. First, you need to go to a web browser. I'm using Google Chrome. Type AWS Elastic Cache for Redis and click on the official link. So for this you need an AWS account. I already have one. I'm just entering my password. So first we need to create a cluster. To create a cluster, click on create. Select cluster engine type. We are going for Redis. Provide it with a name. You can even select node type. I'll go, I'll go for the minimum one. That is 0 0.5. Don't worry about the advanced settings. We are just, we are just working on the basic ones. Click on create. As you can see, the cluster is being created. It will take about one to two minutes. So as you can see, our Redis cluster has been created. So now we can go to services. Go on S3 storage. Now we will, we will create a bucket. Let's give it a name. Click on next.
click on create as you can see the bucket has been created now we can click on it and we can upload data click on add files let's go to desktop and select any file let's say new text document click on upload as you can see the file has been uploaded so we have successfully created the storage now we will create an instance on virtual machine so for that we need to click on EC2 to create an instant instance create click on launch instance so for, for this you can choose from for Linux you have options and even for Windows I'll be going for Windows click on next configure instance details here you can type the number of instance instances you want I'm going for one you can even change the storage I'm going for 30 click on configure security group and now you can review and launch launch so here you need to choose a create a new key of pair give it a name I'll say download the key pair and launch instances so your instances are now launching you can view from here so as you can see it's pending it will take two to three minutes to get get initialized so we have to wait for that so as you can see our instance has been created the checks have been completed so let's just select this and click on actions connect Down download the remote desktop file click on get password choose the file click on decrypt password so this is the password for this copy it open the file which you have downloaded click on connect enter the password click on ok click on yes it's initializing so the instance on virtual machine has been created just close it so in this video we, uh, we covered how to create a cluster for redis as how to create storage and instance on virtual machine. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much.